All right, so here we go. We're in Blender, and I'm just going to set my Maya preferences. So I have the same navigation, and I'm going to go import some stuff. So I'm importing way for an object, and I'm going to go out here to my desktop, armor example, and here's all the pieces I can import. Can I import them all at once? Um, sure, I'll try that. No. <laughs> I wish, that'd be easy. Chest piece high. Okay, I'm going to leave it right where it's at. I'm not going to move it at all. And as soon as I get it in here, I'm going to name it. So out here in the outliner, I got mesh. I'll click on it. Then click on the brown box here and call this chest high. Then I'll immediately make it disappear. All right, import wait for an object, and I'll do the chest low. And this is what I do across the entire character. And I try to keep with the same naming convention, that way they sit next to each other. In gross occasions, I'll, I'll take and put, like, this was part one, so I'll put zero, 01 chest, zero, 01 chest low. But, uh, yeah, this will work. Okay, again, I turn that off. Import, wait for an object, gauntlet high. And you can see these are 75, 39 megs, so I wouldn't go any higher than 100 megs. If you got 100 meg OBJ, I would say you should decimate it down a little bit further. Or start breaking your characters up into smaller parts. We used to have to build everything out of a solid chunk of geometry. Nowadays, not so much. Gauntlet high. Gauntlet low. All right, there's our pieces, and now I'm just going to save the scene. This dude's name is Bane Thrall. Okay, now, the low pieces are low, but I like to go a little lower on them, and this is how I do that. I use the decimation version in Blender for the lower versions. Why I do that? is I have a great deal of control real time. So if I hit decimate and then go over here to the box and turn on wireframe, I have this cool slider and I can just go click, 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 click and I can stop anytime I want. Now with ZBrush, I have to go and decimate it to find out what it looks like. Here I can just watch it melt away and say, whoop, that's good enough. So that's a really cool time saver. How low should you go? Well, all depends what your poly count is. I don't want to go too low on this piece. This piece is kind of like the, the all piece. Like, oh, look at this gauntlet. And see, you can see the face count real time too another thing you can't do back there and I kind of look at it like this I, I want it to keep its real, real edges anytime it loses it I stop this isn't too bad 274 I'll just hit apply now I have to do that before I can make UVs for it Another thing I like to do after this fact is go into the sculpt tool and go into smooth 
And in some cases, I'll just lightly touch this in areas that the triangles look a little weird. Define weird, can't. I'll just say that in areas where the triangles are um, not triangle, <laughs> they're bunched up, like this piece right here. That looks better. All in all, it doesn't look too bad. Another thing I like to do is inflate it just a little bit on certain spots. And I like to inflate it from the inside. This will make it so no malformed geometry appears, like or back face culling. So I'll just click a couple times in these regions and make it a little bit wider. Good. All right, after I did that, I'll go in and make UVs. So let me fix up both parts in this video and then we'll do UVs in the next one. But I'll split this area by right clicking splitting area and then go into the UV image editor. If you have a to join it, you can join it like that by right clicking join area. So here's my chest low. Let's see if there's any geometry when I decimate it that needs to be fixed. So again, I'll go to wireframe. Again, I'll put the decimation on there and I'll just lower it down, watch it melt and say, whoa, that should be enough. I don't like this in the back, so I'm just gonna go a little lower. That might work quite well. Just going to keep with that. All right. I don't see anything that needs to be repaired on this one. The polygons are much bigger. It all looks good. All right. So we'll meet you in the next video where we do the next step.